They told me after I passed out in the ninth grade that my running days was over because I had an irregular heart. Then they told me after I broke the high school national record in the 800 meters at 148 in 11th grade that I was running too fast and I was going to eventually get burnt out. They told me that I wasn't college ready because I couldn't spell. They told me since I was an athlete, that's the only reason somebody paid me any attention. They told me. They told me when I got to college that I wasn't college ready because I didn't know how to write a basic paper. See, the first paper I ever wrote was a handwritten paper and my teacher balled it up in my face and threw it back at me. They told me that since I didn't understand the concept of how to be a college student, that I was not going to graduate. See, when I received my bachelor's degree, they told me that I beat all odds. Then they told me that I was very lucky to receive my master's degree. They told me that all the things that I they thought I could not do. See, everybody's in here been told what you cannot do. I was told because I had to tell myself that it's not about what you tell me, it's what I believe I can do. And you don't have to beat nobody or prove nobody wrong in here, but prove yourself right. See, all of you guys are athletes, so y'all understand, I love track, because track is what you put in. And out of all the years that I ran, no one can consistently say that they beat me in a workout because I had effort. I worked to get the results that I wanted. Everybody here want to be great, but nobody really want to be great. Because the pain that comes along with greatness, you guys don't want to see it. Because your mind, your mind controls your behavior. When you feel that pain in practice, you begin to slow down. When you see somebody working harder than you, you begin to move to the other group that's not working hard to meet your standards of expectation. Some of you sitting here and saying, why am I here? When you realize why you run track and why you in school, everything else will come together for you. Do you know your why? Do you understand your why? See, I didn't have a coach in high school. See, the easiest thing to do in life is to hang around people that don't have no drive. Because they can fuel your laziness. You got to change your livelihood. You got to change your friends. You got to change, you got to put your cell phone down. You have to apply yourself. See, a lot of people like to post pictures of working out but never work out. Hey, I'm here, we just got finished working out. <laughs> See, y'all don't have to tell me nothing because I'm a track runner. I understand. I understand it's you against the world when you run it. I understand when it becomes that last lap, the strategy that you put in, pacing off the other person, you got to place your kick. I understand when you're in the block, ready to run 100, that your focus has to be so focused that nothing can deter you. I understand that it's butt lock after the 400 meters. I understand if you get out too hard, somebody gonna shoot you with a horse tranquilizer and you gonna fall down. I understand. But I understand when you put hard work in practice, the only thing that can come from hard work is results. How many people want to be great? How many people talk about being great? See, I didn't know what the ability that I had when I ran 148 in high school in 11th grade. I got to college, I only had two pair of pants. I ran my first long run in some high top shoes. People laughed at me. They didn't understand when I ran 147.1 my freshman year in college. They said there's something about this kid that is different. I didn't let people beat me in workouts. I didn't care. You had to, if you're gonna work out with me, you got to show me you're gonna take lead in the workout. Because you're not, I'm gonna be right in front of you. Because I didn't want to lose. I got seniors in there. It's your last opportunity. If you don't get this opportunity again, it doesn't come again. You have an opportunity to change your circumstance. To How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? How much sacrifice you really put into this? They said to be elevated is to be separated. I didn't hang around everybody. 
I didn't drink and smoke. Yes, I was diagnosed with a learning disability. Yes, it was hard for me to read. Yes, I struggled in college. Yes, I graduated. Yes, I have two degrees. Yes, I wrote 10 stage play productions when they told me that I couldn't write a vex of paper. Yes, I produced my own shows. Yes, I won the national championship on the football team, just walked on it and said I wanted to play football and they gave me a full scholarship because I understood something. Something that man can't create. Something that's put inside of you. Coaches can't make you better. They can only bring what's inside of you out. Stop blaming the coaches for your success. The coaches can't make you better. The coach don't tell you when to go to sleep. If a coach got to tell you to go come to practice, you don't need to be there. It's all dedication, a mindset, a will, effort. Because I understand what it takes to be the best. And I know what the best look like. So I leave with you guys. I encourage you guys. To not just talk about it. If you want to be great, be it. Yes, you were a student athlete. In my days, we used to make fun of him and say we was an athlete student, but you were a student athlete. Yes, your job is to graduate, get your grades up. Yes, that's all a part of the deal. If I'm going to put money in you, the least you can do is graduate for yourself. It's not up to your advisors, it's not up to your mother, it's not up to nobody but you. Once we start taking responsibility of our own results, then the change will come. Change your mindset, you change the situation, and then you grow. I don't care how you ran last week. I don't. I don't care how sorry the time was. This is a new week, a new day. LeBron James has 24 hours in the day to be great. Michael Jordan had 24 hours in the day to be great. You have 24 hours in the day to be great. Nothing separates you. But what are you doing with your time? That's the question. I have a friend back here. I trained her daughter. Her daughter came to me. She was hurt two years in a row. And she said, Coach, I want you to make me great. We was at the track at 12 o'clock at night. See, a lot of people come to me like, hey, coach, I want to be good. Hey, can you help me out? Sure. I'll see you at 445 AM. You got to show me that you want it. I don't move by talk. Man, come on, everybody can talk a great game. She was getting me in the corner. I'll, I'll sell water to a well. <laughs> but everybody don't have that drive to do it. So stay encouraged. Believe in you more than you believe in you. And prove nobody wrong, but prove yourself right. Everybody's blessed with a God-given talent. And no, everybody can't be the best, but you can be the best. Think about that.